Hello and welcome from the Don's Park in Bibiani. We're coming to you live with the match of the day for match day three. This is Bibiani Gold Star's first home encounter against the league champions Kumasi Asante Kotoko. My name is Prince Anan and I can tell you for a fact that the whole town of Bibiani is painted green and yellow. This is the first time of asking for Bibiani Gold Stars and they are here to impress. It's an epic battle here at the Don's Park, Prince. And uh, for Kumasi Asante Kotoko, it's a perfect start. Two wins out of two. And they will be looking to make it three here at the dance park. It is a fortress for any team to play here. And that's how come Prosper Nante Ogum is changing tactics and changing system and formation here. For Prosper Nante Ogum, it started with a 4 1 2 3. It means there will be no Abdul Ganyu, there's no Yusuf Mubarak, Joseph Mwaku, and, and of course Stephen Amankona, who started. In their last game against Bechem United, of course, there's Razaka Balora, Buda Siri Sali for Richard Buedu, Fabio Gama de Santos, and uh, there's, there's also um, Boateng Samuel, Richmond Lante, Kojo Asma, Christopher Nete. And Maxwell Hansen will get us underway in this game, this encounter between BBN Gold Stars who are playing from left to right on your screen. Game continuing nicely. Build up has been quite steady for both sides, especially Kotoko. And Gama pushed off the ball. Maxwell Hansen saw that from a distance. Pass threat through. It's kept in play by Owusu. Goes round his marker. He's still going in there. A strong. Appeals for the penalty. Patrick Asma says no. And what is he doing? An unnecessary yellow card. Work. He had done well to go past Maxwell Ajima. This is the second time he was making you know, good use of the ball. Going around Maxwell Ajima. And then it was that timely intervention from uh, Richard Guedu, who said, which saved Kotoko, but for him to have rushed to the referee, and clearly that couldn't have been a penalty. Yeah. Ball has been taken away from Mudasiru. Careful build up by Bibiani Goldstars into enemy territory now. The shot is fired, and Razak. Oh. Right. Well, glorious opportunity for Bibiani Goldstars to take the lead. Uh, locating Prince Owusu Kwabana here. And look at the shot. Well saved by Abalora, the rebound, as well as Richard Buedu. They have not, you know, controlled the midfield for Kotoko very well. It's Mudasiru, who has been the brightest spot in the middle. Yeah, and there he goes. Lays on the park, uh, the pass again, a trip from behind on Richmond Lamte. I see the barrage of runs and crosses from uh, Christopher Nete and Patrick Asma, and that amazes me. Again, they've also managed to keep quiet. Uh, it looked like it's worked to perfection again. They start an attack from the left. This is uh, coming forward to uh, Kamara. Kamara, look at him. He, he, he gets hold of the ball. He controls the ball very well. He goes past um, players in the middle, and that's good. Policed by Asma. Throwing by Aya. Into the 18 yard. Was they looking for the quick 10? Wafo. Goalkeeper came out. Outstretched fingers. Got to the ball. The drive is on. And he goes wide. Kotoko needed to defend that. Yeah, we see another brilliant play from Prince Owusu and Buafo with that cross. Great save from the goalkeeper, but the follow-up shot. Turns Fabio inside out, sends in the cross. It's headed out by the defense of Kotoko, but there could be an opportunity coming from the far side. The cross is on. And Asma has the easiest of tasks. But then he sends it to Yaya straight away. Yaya fires on target. They are lacking confidence now. It's BPN goal stars who are probing, who are trying to score. And that's not good enough from... Here comes Mudasiru. Opts for a back pass. Does well and finds Buedu. Gamma. Lamte leaves it on the far side. Fufro goes out. Brave save. Ah! A little bit of a nudge. On uh, Fabio Gama, and referee comes to, to the aid. Yeah, and Prosper Nate Ogu play better than this. And you see the movie again. This was where Kotoko were really looking threatening. And uh, Nete in a very good position, but great goalkeeping from Ansafu Fro. Closed the angle very well. And uh, it was difficult for Nete. Nete, it wasn't a very good first control. Yeah, throw in. Shot from a distance into the 18-yard box. It still stays in play. Good recovery by Kotoko. But he's won it. Side netting. Win the ball here. Look at him. He win the ball from Isaac Kopo. But he had two players in the 18-yard box. 
he could have just passed the ball to those two players but really was working hard to get the ball but you see anytime Sule gets on the ball it is two or three Kotoko players who goes in with a tackle half time now here at the Don's Park Thurs will be playing from right to left as you watch Kotoko in their favorite all red colored here Kokutia not the best of back passes and uh, nearly fell for Boateng but good goalkeeping from a full throw to so how come they they are in the Ghana Premier League we saw we see in the back pass again brave good goalkeeping from a full throw not too sure whether they've seen through Prof Judah Champions crystal eye ball but here come Kotoko player goes down in the process but in front of goalkeeper and super super finish from Kotoko and none other than the young chap Isaac Opong. Well, I get the run of play, and uh, surprisingly, the BNE goals that are stand here. Super strike from the young chap Isaac Opong. Again, he is trying to be the game changer for Kotoko. What a strike on the edge of the penalty box. It didn't really look like a chance for Kotoko, but the young chap had his eye up. Yeah, well, look, let's watch him here. Kotoko were probing, and here the ball was not well defended. It fell to him. And look that one touch that it was a brilliant strike super strike for, for where he was standing and how he got the, the vision clear and the technique to kill that ball at the edge of the penalty ball straight into the far corner uh, they have their tails up and they are now more more confident they are calm in the middle and that's it's a free kick advantage swung in nicely by Kwekudria was a very unnecessary push on Razaka Balora. Yeah, here we saw Balora with the first guy. You see, Enu, they will get here. But thankfully, they are up front here. And so we want to see a more relaxed team that can play to a well-rehearsed strategy. Game continues in earnest. Kotoko keeping the ball to themselves. That's Fabio Gama. And a quick daring pass from Gama in the middle yeah just watch him wonderful pass nearly a perfect one free kick is on now shot by Owusu this could be an opportunity for them to put a smile on their faces of their fans Prince Owusu Razak was in the way it's not lost yet they will still probe and come forward through Nicolas Jose of BBNE Gold Stars as we watch through the replay once again the pass was laid up and you saw Razak Abalora come forward fair and square took the ball in the midsection and the resultant rebound was wasted but referee Maxwell Hansen brings the game to an end Kotoko have beaten BBNE Gold Stars by one goal to nil here at the Don's Park a game that goal stars came into with a lot of pump with a lot of action but through 90 minutes they huffed and puffed the dawn spark has been uh, quietened the noise has been brought down